Okay, so this is our second treatment uh, of this patient who's got some photo damage and some acne scarring. And uh, we're going to be uh, using the Fraxel uh, 1550 and 1927. So we start with the 1550. And uh, this happens to be the Fraxel Restore, but you could use a variety of other devices as well. We're going to be using uh, 70 millijoules, 11% uh, density, four passes, and uh, we're ready to go. Press the ready button. We get our device. It's all secure, and uh, we're all wearing appropriate glasses. And uh, she has appropriate gear on. She signed her photo consent form, so we're all set to go. And uh, we're going to put some cold air on here. So it's going to actually blow out of the tip here. Now the treatment is absolutely at this tip here, right at that tip. So then that's exactly where the, the uh, forced cold air is going to cool down the skin, so it's very efficient. All right, here we go. So we can hear, hear the audible beating, which tells us how fast we're going, or how slowly we're going. In fact, if we couldn't hear the audible beep, then we wouldn't know that the device is actually working. Okay, so I've been at one, one direction. Now, with a scanning device, I'm going to come to a different direction now. I'm careful not to over, immediately overlap. If you immediately overlap in this area, like this, you're going to get full thickness necrosis. Avoid that, please by coming back after a minute or two after the bulk, to avoid the bulk heating let it cool down a fraction now I'm going to go at yet a different angle so we're going to do four passes here All right, now I'm going to come at a different angle again. So we're first going to treat with the 1550, then we're going to switch to the 1927. And when we do that, we try to keep the total density to below 50%. Frankly, on the face, you could go higher than that, but that's just my rule of thumb. The face, of course, because of the many adnexal structures, Uh, will heal up very nicely. If you move to the neck or chest, you've got pure adnexal structures, and therefore you have uh, what I call somewhat um, uh, l less well protected skin. So you can see here that we have used 3.32 actual kilojoules um, on the patient. Is it worthwhile actually? This is a very relevant uh, figure to write down in your, in your uh, chart notes, etc. So 3.2 kilojoules, 70 millijoules, 11% density, uh, which is given over four passes. Obviously if you give six passes or eight passes, it'll be, it'll be actually 22%. Um, uh, but uh, anyway, okay, on we go. Changing now to 1927. So, with 1927, the plan is to go with 10 millijoules, uh, which gets about the same depth as 20 millijoules. Uh, and I'm going to give less than 50%. We gave 11 before, so I'm going to give 35% density, which gives a total of uh, 46% over four passes, okay, force cold air on, off we go.
So how much did the 1550, the last treatment, hurt you from, from zero to ten? Zero being nothing, ten being excruciating? Five. About a five. Okay, now tell me, this is the 1927 now, this is a different wavelength. How would you score this from a pain point of view? The same. About the same. Okay, most people will say it's somewhat less, but on the other hand, she had the topical anesthetic on for an hour, and that was about 20 minutes away. So once you take the topical anesthetic off, it immediately loses, starts to lose its effect. Immediately. And so everyone needs to be aware of that. Uh, and you want to try and leave it on as long as you can and really only treat the area within uh, five or ten minutes of having taken it off. Otherwise it's going to hurt. Okay, and again, I'm giving four passes here, same idea as before. This is what really gets much more superficially into the skin. This is probably getting uh, about 200 microns into the skin, something like that. But we're giving 35% density on top of the 11% density that we gave with the 1550. And so this is just one device, one of the fractionated devices. There are many good systems out there, um, some of which are scanning, others are, are stamping, but you get exactly the same results with these other devices.